Hey everyone, this is Benny Lewis from Fluent in Three Months. I wanted to very quickly show you this uh, app that I've been trying out. So um, uh, it's called Hi Native, and you can get it for both Android and iPhones. But um, what I think is very cool is that this is actually an app made by the people behind Lang8. So some of you might know this site already as a site where you can type out your attempts to use the written form of the languages that you're learning and then share it with communities and get some feedback on it. So they've kind of taken that idea of the community feedback and they put it into this pretty cool app. I just wanted to give you a quick look at it then and I'll show you how I've been using it, see if you can get use out of it yourself. All right, so we have, uh, let me show you the home screen here. Uh, essentially, similar to Lang8, you uh, help other people with their questions and that helps um, you to be seen more when you have a question to be, uh, to be asked. So um, you can see on my profile here that I have set myself up as uh, learning f um, these languages. You can put up to five at a time. So um, I've got French, German, Portuguese, Chinese and Spanish at the moment and all sorts of other information uh, about myself. And I've been testing out the app and I will be using it when I have these last minute kind of uh, doubts about how I'm gonna say something in a language. So um, uh, let's see, on the home screen, you can flick between the various questions being asked in each of the languages. So here, for instance, are some questions coming up in French from the community. And then we've got the other languages that I happen to have, as well as my native language. Um, at the moment they let you select UK or US, so I'm just selecting UK since that's how I would write in English. And if I see any of these that I feel like answering, then I can click through and do that. So, um, uh, like this guy, guy or girl is saying, how do you say howdy in daily conversation? And you see people are actually answering that question. And so let's try this right now with, um, some questions that I could ask. So we go to ask, and what I like is that you have various different ways that you can ask the question. So um, when you want to translate something, you might just go to a dictionary. In the case of Spanish, I might go to word reference, for instance, but that might be okay when you're translating a single word, but what if you're translating something a, a little bit longer? So um, how do you say this in Spanish? you're asking like actual people, the community, to give you the best translation that they know works in the natural language. Um, I'm trying to think which phrase is I gonna go with it here. I can say something like, uh, I don't know, I'm, I'm a blogger. That's a good one because I've always kind of, when I learn new language, I, words like this, like blogger, you might look it up and maybe it's used one way in one country or one way in another, but um, it's a hard word to translate, so I'm going to say that I'm a blogger and post it. And that's out there in the world. We'll see if um, anyone replies to that sometime in the next few minutes. Uh, but there's other ones. Does this sound natural? So your question will be phrased like this, as well as writing it out. So I could, I could think, instead of translating, getting somebody else to do the work for me, I want to learn myself. I want to try to produce the language and get some feedback. So I would use that with this one here. But instead of typing it, I can also use the microphone function and try to speak it out. So I'll give that a whirl. I'm going to hold this button down. Soy el políglota más irlandés del mundo. And then I can write it out. Soy el políglota. Irlandés del mundo. Okay, so we got the text and we got the audio. Post it. And out it goes. 
So I'm gonna get uh, rated by people if that's natural, unnatural, or they just don't understand what I'm saying. Okay. And show me an example sentence with, so you can imagine if you see a new word, you kind of think you understand it, but you need to see it in the context of a real sentence. You can put it in there. What does this mean? Again, it's like translating the other way around. You see some, some Spanish, you've tried to find it in dictionaries, you don't really understand. And in fact, I'll show you that, like you might think, oh, but I just use Google Translate for that. I would not do that a lot of cases. So let me give you an example. If I say like, uh, llevo cinco días sin salir de casa. Okay. All right, so I got something out there. But let's try this in, oh, oh, I just got a notification. Somebody answered my question. I'm going to see what that is. You can see how fast it was. Okay, so if I try to put this into Google Translate, there's actually a cool new Google Translate thing that if I copy something, then I go into Google Translate and paste in that. Translation I get is I take five days without leaving home. That's not very understandable Because this is a, a, a kind of quirk of Spanish that they use the the word llevar to talk about how, Something you've been doing for a certain amount of time So you really need to get a native's feedback on that because Google Translate is not going to help you Okay, so that's just like some of the, the features you can also do. What's the difference give two different words you might use in different contexts. Free question. So I'll show you an example of uh, the free question where I, I kind of wanted to explain the context of what I was trying to figure out. Um, but when you are using the app, you can either try to see, uh, add it to the community, see if people who get back to you on it, or they have a premium feature that gives you uh, uh, 10 tickets that you can use that when you um, tick use one of the tickets, then you're at the very, very top. So if I urgently want to find something out, I would use that. So that's a, a paid feature. And you might have seen as I was going around the screen that when we're on the Spanish page, I actually have a question that is coming up at the very top here. Someone else answered my question. You could see how fast the community is on this. So this one I posted the other day and I was trying to explain that I want to know how to use this word right because I know from French I might use it this way, but am I sure in Spanish? So I have the uh, explanation of my question in Spanish and then a little added thing in English. And now I got all of these answers from people. So I can read and they give me full examples. Someone gives me an alternative. I have answers in English and in Spanish. So this is a fascinating way to get a very detailed rather than one word answer from people. All right. so. Let's see my notifications. Um, someone's already answered my most recent question to say I haven't been out for five days. So that you can see that using the word take like Google Translate suggested, that is not going to help me. So I'm going to uh, give this person a thumbs up for their help. And the other question I just asked, how do you say I'm a blogger? They said, soy bloguero. So, um, that's an interesting um, way to see that I can answer the question. I, I'm going to see if there's more answers because I'm wondering if there should be a U there in that word, bloguero. Um, but that's the thing is it's a community thing. So you'll actually see several answers for confirmation. And that actually, yeah, this person is a native English speaker. So I am asking this in Spanish. So I will wait until I get a reply from uh, the native Spanish speakers, just to be 100% sure. And yeah, the reason I've been getting so many replies to that other one, um, the question about the um, the cafe that you see here, is because I use one of my tickets to put it on the screen at the top, which uh, just puts it more prominently placed. And I will use that for urgent questions. And then I will just say for less urgent things like I've been doing here, that they just get a answered as they come up. So yeah, just wanted to share this with you. I'm uh, finding it pretty cool. I've only used it for a couple of things, but I think when I have urgent 
um, things that I need to post on my blog or if I know I'm going to have a, a Skype session with somebody I want to make sure I'm saying it right then I will probably be using this to do it because of the the speed that I get those answers um, this app is going to be one of my new must download apps so check it out and let me know what you think in the comments and I really hope it helps you learn your language you can select any I mean you just saw the five that I use there but any language that you're learning put it in and the community will get back to you on it and yeah play around with it yourself you see lots of fun stuff in it okay thanks for watching everybody